Hello, and thank you for your interest in STARS. My name is Jordan King, STARS Program Coordinator here at AISHI, and in this video I'll be walking you through the basics of the STARS program, its benefits and how it works, and providing a behind-the-scenes look at the STARS reporting tool. STARS stands for the Sustainability Tracking Assessment and Rating System, and it's a transparent self-reporting framework for colleges and universities to measure their sustainability performance. There are a lot of benefits to using STARS, and they vary between institutions, but some of the main ones include gaining international recognition for sustainability efforts, specifically in the form of a bronze, silver, gold, or platinum rating, which we'll talk a little bit more about in a minute. Another benefit is creating a baseline for improvement. Since STARS is a comprehensive and quantifiable way to measure performance, institutions can look at changes in performance over time, as well as how they stack up against peer institutions. STARS also engages the higher education community and builds a culture of sustainability by requiring communication and collaboration at all levels. Students, staff, faculty, administrators, and even community members will all be involved in submitting a STARS report. Another benefit is the ability to generate new ideas by looking at what other institutions are doing on their campuses, as well as informing your strategic planning and budgeting process. I see these two benefits of STARS as providing campuses a roadmap to being more sustainable. And finally, for a lot of institutions, STARS provides the leverage or incentive needed to make real progress towards sustainability. Any college or university in the world may participate in STARS. Other types of educational institutions, such as secondary schools, are also welcome to participate. There are two levels of access available. The first is basic access. This free access allows institutions to enter and manage data in the reporting tool, as well as to share their data publicly and earn recognition as a STARS reporter. Institutions that choose to purchase a full access subscription are able to earn a STARS bronze, silver, gold, or platinum rating. This includes additional data sharing and benchmarking opportunities, automated scoring, AISHI staff support to help ensure data accuracy, and a STARS rating that is valid for up to three years. STARS is organized into four main categories, academics, engagement, operations, and planning and administration. There's also an optional bonus category called innovation and leadership. Within each of these categories, there are subcategories that define specific sustainability impact areas. For example, the academics category contains the curriculum and research subcategories. If we take a look at the STARS reporting tool, you'll see that the subcategories then contain two or more credits, which are the heart of STARS. The reporting tool is where data is entered for a STARS submission. Within each credit, users can enter some or all of the data and then save the credit as in progress or complete. The text of each credit, available in PDF format as well as in the online reporting tool, defines the specific reporting and performance requirements that must be met in order to earn points. It also includes definitions, measurement guidance, and examples. We cover the process of data collection in depth in another video, but one thing I want to mention is that after completing the initial STARS report, typically institutions have developed a process that works and reporting becomes easier. The first report serves as a foundation and allows the institution to simply update information for a subset of credits, and this is particularly true for institutions that decide to report more often than every three years. There are many different approaches that an institution can take to data collection. Regardless of the approach, users will need to be added to the reporting tool. Under the Users tab, a new user can be added and each user will be assigned a role. This will determine their privileges within the tool. Now let's talk about scoring. Institutions can choose not to pursue a rating or make their scores public by submitting as a STARS reporter, which is free. This allows institutions to share their accomplishments and have their data included in the public STARS database for benchmarking purposes. Institutions pursuing a rating will accumulate points for each credit. Their STARS score will be based on the percentage of available points earned across the four main categories. In addition, institutions can earn up to four innovation and leadership points for exemplary and path-breaking initiatives that are not covered by other STARS credits or that exceed the criteria of a standard credit. These bonus points can be earned by choosing from a catalog of exemplary practice credits, as well as by pursuing open-ended innovation credits. The bonus points are added on top of the percentage of points earned to determine the overall score. 
You can see here the score ranges for each star's rating that can be earned. One common question we receive from participants is whether there is a deadline for submitting a report. There's not a deadline that all institutions must adhere to. However, because a rating is valid for three years, institutions who wish to maintain their rating will need to submit a new report before the old one expires in order to avoid a lapse. Many schools choose to resubmit as often as once a year or every other year to ensure that their public data is current and to potentially earn a new level of recognition. Another time frame to keep in mind is the STARS subscription period. When an institution purchases a full access STARS subscription, they will have one year to submit their rated report. There is always the option to renew the subscription at a discount if more time is needed before submitting the report. And finally, there are also deadlines to keep in mind for being included in some of the rankings and recognition outlets that are based on STARS data, such as AISHI's Sustainable Campus Index and Sierra Magazine's and Princeton Review's annual green rankings. These deadlines typically occur each year in March. All institutions that submit a STARS report for a rating will go through a collaborative review and revision process prior to publication. STARS data accuracy processes improve the quality of current and future reports, help protect the credibility of STARS, and provide a fair and transparent means for resolving questions about the accuracy of STARS data. After a rated report is officially submitted, AISHI staff review a portion of the credits for accuracy and consistency and work directly with the institution's main STARS contact to make any necessary changes before the final rating is awarded. Once the review and revision process is complete, the report is published on the STARS website and a certificate of rating is issued so the achievement can be shared with campus stakeholders. Transparency is a fundamental component of STARS. Therefore, all of the data within published reports is available on the STARS website and may be downloaded and freely shared. We offer numerous resources on the STARS website to help participants gather and submit their data. These include the STARS Technical Manual, the Definitive Guide to STARS Credits and Reporting Requirements, which you can download in its entirety, or you can access a PDF of each individual credit. This webpage is also where you'll find the STARS Credit Checklist, which provides a snapshot of all STARS credit requirements and applicability. The STARS Help Center contains articles on the basics of STARS, using the reporting tool, as well as helpful articles and videos for many of the credits within STARS. We also offer templates and downloads specifically for data collection, including our credit forms and data tracking sheets, as well as templates specific to individual STARS credits. As I mentioned earlier, one of the many benefits of STARS is the opportunity for benchmarking. AISHI members have exclusive access to the STARS data displays and the benchmarking tool, which can be used to download exact responses to specific reporting fields in STARS reports, or to create charts comparing colleges and universities on the scores and metrics within STARS. I hope you found this introduction to STARS helpful. Thanks again for your interest, and please reach out with any questions that you have at stars at